So what are we going to talk about um, with this one, Nick, is translations. And I'm going to talk about you know, what exactly is a translation. Um, because last time what we talked about was reflections, right? We found reflections across the y-axis, the x-axis, the y equals x line, and as well as the origin, right? We talked about reflections and all those different types of points. Um, but now we're going to talk about is translations. And translations come across um, a lot of different names. Sometimes we call them slides. Right, which you guys may be familiar with and different, like pre-algebra and stuff. You guys talk about like slides, where you just take the figure and you slide it here or there, or shift. Right, you're going to shift the graph up, down, left, right. So we're going to include some of that um, vocabulary, but we're also going to come up with some new notation that we're going to use to describe translations. All right. So when we're translating, all uh, main thing I want you guys to understand is we are moving our figure left, right up and down, the size and everything of the figure is not going to change. All right? But we're only going to we're only going to move the figure according to what um, according to the directions. So let's say I tell you to shift, let's say I tell you to shift this um, shift this line three units to the right. Okay? Let's say I say shift the graph three units to the right. Well, ladies and or shift the line. So what you guys are going to know is you're going to take this line and you're going to move it over three units, right? Okay. So what I would tell you guys to do is if we know a is at negative three comma two, and I want to say what is now a prime, right? What am I going to do to the x coordinate negative 3? If I shift this graph 3 units to the right, what am I doing? You're adding 3, right? You're moving it in 3, three uh, units in the positive direction. So I'm going to write negative 3 plus 3 comma 2. Right? I'm going to add 3. I'm using it in this positive direction. And if I say, what about my b point? If I say here's b, and b is at negative 4, comma negative 3. And I say I want to move b three units to the right. Do I add or subtract the 3? Add 3 again. So therefore, b prime is going to be negative 4 plus 3, comma 2. Now, I know I kind of ran out of space here, so let's write them in there. So now a prime is going to be 0, comma 2. And b prime is negative 1, comma 2. Oh, negative 3. I don't know why I wrote that. It's negative 3, right? The y coordinate doesn't change. So, ladies and gentlemen, our graph is now going to look like this. So, let's plot these. So, I have 0, 2, a prime, and then b prime would be negative 1 down negative 3. Does everybody see how I took that graph? By adding 3, I shifted the graph 3 units to the right. Does everybody see that? Yeah. OK. What about now if I do another translation? How about I say shift, shift the line 1, uh, yeah, let's do 2 units, 2 units down. Okay. So if I'm going to shift the unit two units down, what operation am I going to want to do? Am I going to want to add or subtract? Could I also say add a negative number? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I could add a negative number. Now am I going to want to do that to the y coordinate or to the x coordinate? The y coordinate, right? Very good. So let's go back to our points. So now let's go and if, let's say I want to transform a and b prime. All right. So if I go ahead and transform a and b prime, I know that a prime is equal to 0, comma 2. And if I want to transform it by shifting it one, two units down, now I'll call this a double prime, because this is the second transformation I'm doing. That's now going to be 0, comma 2 plus a negative 2. I'll explain why I'm saying it's plus a negative 2. But please understand, plus a negative is the same thing as subtracting. All right. I just, I'll explain this to you guys in a second. b prime is at negative 1, negative 3. 
So therefore, double prime to that is now A double or B double prime. B double prime is now 0 comma negative 3 plus negative 2. All right, so now when we go and get our answers, we could say that this is 0 comma 0, and this point is 0 comma negative 5. All right, so let's go and see what these points would look like. So I have 0 comma 0, which is A double prime, and B is at 0 negative 5. Or sorry, that's not negative 5. Negative 1, jeez. Just writing random stuff. Negative 1 down negative 5. Okay, so does everybody see how that b double prime has shifted my graph down too? Yes? Yes? Okay, so here's what I want you guys to understand though. I'm not very often am I going to tell you, hey, shift it right two and down, and down, or shift it right three and down two, because that's pretty self explanatory. You guys kind of know what to do. What we're going to use now is what we call a transformation vector. All right? And the transformation vector for this problem would look like this. 3 comma um, negative 2. Okay, So it looks like a coordinate point. Right? It kind of has like those parentheses, but there's like jagged kind of parentheses. They're pointy parentheses. Right? So this is what this would tell you. So if I said, hey, here's this line, apply the transformation vector. What this transformation vector tells you is to shift it three units to the right and shift it down two units down. All right? So that's, this would be the transformation vector. And if you guys want to know the general rule for transformation vectors, let's say you have a coordinate point, x comma y, and you want to apply a transformation vector. The way that transformations vector works, no, no, dom, 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 no, 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 hold on me, stay with me, stay with me. When you have a coordinate point, x comma y, and you have a transformation vector, what that transformation vector is telling you is x plus a comma x plus b. All right, and that's why I was trying to. That's what I was trying to tell you guys, and that goes through every single single point. So that's why I was telling you to add it. You add the negative. If you have a negative 2, you're still adding negative 2, which is the same thing as subtracting. But when you guys are going to be applying your transformation vectors today, this is exactly what you guys are going to be doing. You're going to take in these points, every point that you need, apply the vector, and then find your new points. OK? You just add the a and the b 